Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a quick walk around look at this 2009 Nissan Cube 1.8 SL. This Cube is in white pearl. It has a gray cloth interior. This front wheel drive powered by a 1.8 liter four cylinder engine with an Xtronic CVT transmission. 2009 marked the first year that the Cube was available outside of Japan and in the United States. It's very quirky in design. The asymmetrical rear windows, how they wrap around, flush with the tailgate glass. Also the split spoke wheels. This vehicle has keyless remote entry. It is equipped with a ginormous package, which includes the interior LED illumination. It also has an aero kit which includes the front and rear aero moldings on the lower bumper as well as the side skirts also has a rear spoiler let's go ahead and take a look at the interior all right so inside you have illuminated tread plates this vehicle also has power windows power mirrors and power door locks it has the body color exterior interior trim pieces manual seat adjust it also has height adjustment for the driver your mirror control switch is on the dash, VTC, and below that you have your fuel door release and your hood release. Cup holders, the ripple effect inside. Cube designers wanted to evoke a jacuzzi feel to the interior, so they created these really, really nice and comfortable lounge style seats and curves everywhere. They've also got water motifs as seen in the cup holders. Also in the floor mats, it's got ripples in it. Most noticeably also is in the headliner. You have that ripple, ripple effect in the headliner. All right, I'm panning through the interior. Cruise control is on the steering wheel. It is a tilt steering wheel. This vehicle currently has 92,262 miles on it. Another neat feature or a little styling exercise is the cluster. The tack is illuminated in a grayish white light where the speedo is illuminated in the blue and they kind of merge together in the center. What Japan or the uh, cube designers were looking for was to evoke the harmony between the moon and the earth. And then in the middle you have your gear selector indicator and then your fuel gauge, temperature gauge, and then your trip computer, which is accessed by right by the speedo. And it basically goes through your trip A and trip B, your instant miles per gallon, your miles to empty. You also have your average fuel economy, average speed. Also have your exterior temperature display. Moving down the center stack, you have your AM FM CD player with iPod connectivity and auxiliary input jack. Hazard switch and passenger airbag indicator off. This vehicle is equipped with automatic climate control. It does have the iPod interface kit with the 30 pin dock connector. More cup holders with the ripple effects. This button here is to cycle through your interior illumination, which will show. All right, moving down, you have your automatic selector, handbrake, you've also got odds and ends storage. This is a very comfortable interior with an enormous amount of headroom. And overhead, you have individual reading lights. You've also got all three reading lights, and you can also turn them off for the dome. Large sun visors. And take a look at the rear seat. The bot exterior color trim continues. You've also got cup holders molded in the door, as well as the ripple effect in the speaker. Nice flat floor. Has the full length carpet with the ripple effect in it as well. It's a deep cut pile carpet. Almost like what you'd find in a house. 
Rear seat, seats three across. It's a 60-40 split folding seat design. High adjustable head restraints on the outboard seating. Another nice feature is behind the uh, left-hand side seat, there's a little storage pocket and it has a little water drop motifs in it. Just the design in here, you can just look for hours for all the little details. Fold down center armrest with integrated cup holders. Seat backs recline as you can see here and they also fold. To fold the seat, just locate the tether. And in the rear, all weather storage mat. All right, take a look at the luggage area. It is hinged on the left to aid in curbside lug loading. Nice wide opening door. Does have storage in the pocket. Very nice and deep load floor. A couple grocery bag hooks. It is also illuminated. All right, this does conclude our quick walk around look at this 2009 Nissan Cube 1.8 SL. If you have any questions or would like to see this vehicle, please contact our showroom. One of our friendly sales staff will be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. And as always, thanks for watching.